Joining me now, national spokesperson for the Republican National Committee, Paris Denard. Paris, just Google the hurricane right now. It's climate change, climate change, climate change. How happy are the Democrats to shift the narrative from Afghanistan to climate change? Well, the Democrats are very excited about the opportunity to take attention away from the failure that is uh, Joe Biden's leadership in Afghanistan. That quagmire that he has created is something that they don't want to talk about. Matter of fact, I understand that in Wisconsin, for an example, the Democrats and the DNC are on this Build Back Better bus tour going around touting the, the, the ac alleged accomplishments of the administration, doing nothing. They don't want to talk about uh, the, the crises that we are facing in this nation. I don't know what they're touting, but it is not touting the actual reality for so many Americans. And so, yes, to answer you directly, they would much rather talk about climate change than talk about the series of crises that this Biden-Harris administration has put the American people in uh, for so many, just seven some odd months. And now Biden can act like he's focused on the homeland. Even yesterday, he wouldn't take any questions on Afghanistan. Today, it's all about the one person who died. And again, it's tragic when someone dies. But when you look at what's going on in Afghanistan, August 31st, everybody's talking that. But Biden's holding all these FEMA events. It's almost as if he thinks he directs the news cycle. Well, what the Biden-Harris administration are trying to do is direct the news cycle because for months they have been uh, fortunate enough to have the mainstream media doing their bidding and, and giving them cover. But it is impossible to ignore the crises that we have right now in Afghanistan. Right today, it's, it's the 31st in Afghanistan. So the deadline has, is, a pro, is upon us. And the 13 servicemen who gave their lives, uh, it, th their deaths uh, should not have happened. Uh, so they would rather talk about this hurricane and talk about how prepared they were for it rather than talking about the fact that they were unprepared for what happened in Afghanistan and talking about the billions of dollars of weapons and, and ammunition and uh, materials and weapons and equipment that went to the Taliban uh, that was funded by the U.S. taxpayers that the Biden-Harris administration decided to leave behind, uh, not to mention, not to forget the fact that there are Americans that are still there. We don't have a diplomatic presence in Afghanistan. It is a disaster. They don't want to talk about it, and they're trying to change the media focus away from the series of crises that they have and talk about climate change. The American people do not want to talk about climate change. They want to talk about safety. They want to talk about security. They want to talk about jobs. They want to talk about the economy. They want to talk about doing things that are going to help empower and uplift them and keep their families safe, not climate change. It's embarrassing. Do you think it'll work what the Biden administration is doing? Do you think the media is going to run with this narrative or will they talk about we're hearing now reports about convicted rapists being allowed into our country from Afghanistan? We're flying in people that have not been vetted into our country. If we want to talk about safety, hurricanes, yes, we can be prepared for that. But when you talk about terrorism, we're going to see a rise in our homeland just as the Americans being abandoned in Afghanistan, they're being terrorized. You know, Natalie, you're absolutely right. There are so many questions that this administration must answer. They must answer these questions about the, the rise of, of terrorism that is going to come with the Taliban being in control, ISIS-K uh, committing crimes that we don't know if they, and the government cannot confirm whether or not the Taliban played a part in that. The, the Biden-Harris administration has so many questions they need to answer. But you know what? Even while they were trying to do this dog and pony show and distract the American people away from Afghanistan and talk about the, 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 the which is a serious issue, which is this hurricane, even in his, his, his press meeting today, he referred to one of his senior black American uh, officials in the White House as a boy. Cedric Richmond is a 47-year-old man, a former congressman, whom he referred to as a boy. I'm waiting to see if the mainstream media takes any time to focus on that bigoted comment, which was horrible. But once again, while they try to distract, is the media going to give him cover? The media needs to do their job. The mainstream media needs to do their job. Take a lead from you and this program and hold the Biden-Harris accountable, administration accountable for the things that they say and the deadly things that they do. The American people see what's going on, even if they don't see it on television, because unfortunately, everyone is having to live it at this point. Everybody's realizing what's happening, and the world is covering it. Even when you look at the foreign press, the way that they're mocking us for Sleepy Joe, they're picking up that slogan, too. So it's, it's just 
unbelievable to see. Paris, thank you for the good work you're doing out there. We see how important every election is because what we're seeing now, it's just, this can't go on for the next two or even four years. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much, Nick.